Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a Boohoo maternity haul for you guys. I've seen a few of these videos up on YouTube from different YouTubers and I thought how fun would that be to order clothes from Boohoo for maternity and then film a video for you guys trying on the clothes. So the clothes that I have for you today, I actually ordered probably two months ago. Um, so a while back before my bump even started popping actually. But I was just so excited to order maternity clothes that were super cute, so I could not help myself. Plus, they did have a sale going on when I did purchase the clothing items, so that helps too. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and try on the different pieces that I purchased. I think there's probably like six or seven pieces, and most of them are actually for like spring and summertime, so I can't even wear them yet. But I figured why not buy them when they're on sale and then I can wear them in spring and summer when I actually have a bigger tummy to sport in the cute little dresses and all of that. Before we get into the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification so that you are notified every single time I upload because I upload, I'm trying to upload every single Wednesday. I feel like that's like a good rhythm to be in, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you feel. I'm trying to do every single Wednesday, so like one video a week. So let me know what you guys think about that. But yeah, do all those fun things, and let's go ahead and jump right on in to the video. Okay, so the first dress that we have here is just a black bodycon dress, and it has a um, tank top top at the top, tank top top at the top. <laughs> but it has a pretty thick strap at the top. But the weird thing is the neckline of this. I'm gonna get close to show you guys the neckline. This like video might be weird because of the lens that I have. This is the only lens that I have, um, and I'm just trying to make it work. I've never done like a try on haul before, so I'm trying to make this work and like stand back far enough to where my head's not cut off, but like forward enough to where you can see me. So you get it. You get the point. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you guys. So the top of this is kind of funky. Like it just dips down really weird and almost like square like. But I feel like if you have like bigger chest like a bigger chest it would work better for me it just kind of comes down at a weird spot and i feel like i would need to constantly be pulling it back or else it would like come down too far and make me uncomfortable um but i don't know if you can see it just kind of goes weird and shows bra straps and stuff and so i wish that i had more of like a rounded front to it and covered a little bit more up top if that makes sense so i'm trying to get back as far as i can to show you guys um, the way that this dress looks. Um, this dress, just so you know, is the Maternity Over the Bump Bodycon dress from Boohoo. And I ordered it in a size eight. And of course it's in the color black. And this dress was $9, which can it get better than a $9 bodycon? No. And I do like where this dress hits. It hits right under the knee. So I feel like it is long enough to be like appropriate, um, but it's still super cute because it's tight like a bodycon. Um, as you can see, I don't have a super big bump right now. Um, I am 19 weeks, so I'm starting to bump a little bit, but we're not popping super far yet. So this will be really cute when I am um, bumping and popping. <laughs> and it will have plenty of room to stretch at that point. So I'm really excited to wear this um, with some cute like tennis shoes, maybe like a jean jacket to cover the top. I feel like it would be super cute in the springtime. So yeah, I do really like this dress. Um, the only thing that I will say with this dress, with all the other dresses that I'm gonna be trying on, is that because they are so cheap and because it's from Boohoo, a lot of them are see-through. Pretty much all of them are see-through. I don't know if you can tell if I get close, if I like spread, <laughs> spread the legs a little bit. I don't know if you can tell that it's kind of like completely see-through in the leg area. So I am wearing some spandex shorts underneath it just to be a little bit more comfortable. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit see-through, but that's what you get for the price that you pay for a $9 dress, so. Okay, so this next dress is called the Maternity Striped 3 fourths Sleeved Mini Dress, and I ordered this one in a size eight, and this one was $8. So I actually am really sad and really disappointed with this dress because I was the most excited, I think, for this dress, and so when I got it, I was really, really, For real? It is like five inches of snow outside and someone's riding their motorcycle. Can you not? Thank you. Anyways, as I was saying, I was really excited for this dress because I feel like the stripes are so freaking cute. I just thought, oh my gosh, how adorable. 
but I was really, really disappointed because as you can tell, this thing is as see-through as it gets. I don't know if you can see my skin and then it goes to my black shorts that I have on and then my skin again. Um, this dress is so incredibly see-through and this one is also a size eight, just like the last one, but this one is a lot tighter. Um, I feel like I could not go down to a size six in this one. I wouldn't even be able to get it on my body. And that's at 19 weeks. I'm not even in my third trimester yet. Um, so third trimester, I probably would have to go up to a size 10 if I were gonna wear this dress at all. Another thing that I was super disappointed about is that as you can see, this dress has a hole right here in the side. Um, I just got it, tried it on, and realized that there is a definite hole in my thigh. So, I mean, it's not a huge deal and it can be fixed, but it's kind of annoying to get a dress that you are super excited about and have it be not only see-through and too tight, but also have a hole in the side of it. But like I said, this one was $8, so I can't really complain because I only spent $8 on it, so you can't expect the best quality. But yeah, this one, you can see my little bump as well. Um, the sleeves don't go down super far. They are like a three-fourths, um, like a midi sleeve, just like it says. And then the length of it, I do really enjoy the length. I think that it hits at a really nice um, length right before the knee, just like, I think the black one, was it below the knee? I think that one was below the knee. This one is right above the knee, and so I really like it. I think it hits at a really flattering spot, but like you can even see the tag right here. Like, come on, people. We're really that see-through right now? Annoying. Okay, so this next dress is called the Maternity Horn Button A-Line Midi Dress, and this one is in a size six, of course, in the color black, and this one was $16. So I am actually obsessed with this dress. I love this one. I am so, so happy that I ordered it. I feel like it is so cute, even for not being pregnant. Like even if you're just wearing like as a normal dress, this is such a cute dress and I can even wear it when I'm not pregnant. So multi-use, that's a score for me. The only thing I don't love is I feel like it does go down pretty far right here. I feel like if it were a little bit higher, I would be a little bit more comfortable with it, but it does go down pretty far in that V-neck. So I would have to make sure that I'm wearing a bra that would accommodate that and be like, cover that up. Um, but yeah, I think it's super cute. As you can see, my little bump in it, and I just love, it's tight up top. I love how long the sleeves are. They're like a longer, short sleeve, and it's nice and tight and super stretchy, super comfortable. I love where it hits right below the knee. I think that's super flattering. Um, and just like the cut of it is so cute. I just think the cut is so girly and just like fun. I don't know, I just love it. And the button details actually aren't real, like it doesn't really actually button and unbutton. Um, they are actually fake, so they're just sewn on to the dress, so you can't actually unbutton the dress. Um, but I feel like that's not a huge deal for me. I just, I feel like it looks cute no matter what. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like sizing on this dress is perfect. I feel like this fits me really well. Like I said, I did get this one in a size six, I think it was. Um, and that is the size that I normally am, normally a four to a six. So this one fits perfectly. It is so comfortable. It's thick. It's not see-through. Praise the Lord. And I seriously cannot wait for it to start getting warmer out so I can wear this with some cute Converse and even like a cute jacket if I wanted to. But I totally can see myself wearing this with just some chucks and like that's it just a dress and some chucks like and a big tummy how cute but yeah so i just love this one this one i would totally rate a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 because i think it is so girly so fun so summery and so cute okay so next up we have the maternity square neck ribbed midi dress in orange and this one is in a size eight and this one was eight dollars so this dress was another one that i was super excited about in the picture it was so adorable and i thought how cute for spring and summer that would be just such a fun pop of color and it would be tight and cute and just everything about it would be amazing but i will say that i am a little bit disappointed with it um i don't know if you can tell but the legs at the bottom it's pretty loose it's not very tight now i know that when I'm walking, it of course gets tighter and you have to be able to have leg room. But I just don't love that when I'm standing still, if I'm just standing here, it is kind of baggy and gaps on the legs. Now I don't know if I would have ordered a size down, if I would have ordered a six, if that would have been better. 
Um, it is a little bit gappy here as well, but of course that will change the bigger the bump gets. Um, then I probably won't have this issue here. But the only reason why I probably couldn't size down is because this part up here, this um, tight, this strap right here, is actually really tight on me. It's almost like uncomfortably tight, just this elastic band right here. And so I feel like if I were to go down a size, it would be very uncomfortable on my chest. But I do love the straps. I love the thick strap. It makes the dress so cute and just so fun. And I love the straight across top as well. I think that it is just such a cute little accent to the dress. The color, of course, I love. I think the color is so fun. But once again, this dress is see-through. I don't know if you can tell, but orange to here and then my little black shorts that I have underneath the dress. Now, of course, I probably wouldn't wear these black shorts out under this dress. I probably would just wear like a pair of nude underwear, um, something, you know, that wouldn't show. But I just wanted to show you guys, I just want to have the black shorts on just to show you guys that these dresses are a little bit see-through. And then I don't know if you can really tell, but I wanted to get a little bit closer to see if you guys could tell. Um, it does have this super cute ribbed detail all the way down, which I think is super cute. It's nice and ribbed. And hello, belly. Oh, there's my girl, baby E. <laughs> but anyways, I do think this dress is super cute because of the ribbed detail, the top. I just, I love how it fits. And I do think that if the top, if the bottom was a little bit tighter and if it was a little bit thicker and not so see-through, then I would probably rate this dress a 10 out of 10 and I would wear it every single day this summer. Okay, so this next dress is called the Maternity Horn Button Stripe Cami Mini Shift Dress. Holy long name. This one is in a size eight and this one was $16. So as you can see, this dress is super cute. It's a lot shorter than the other ones were, but I don't mind the length. I do think that it's still like an appropriate length to wear. The only thing that obviously like sticks out like a sore thumb is how high this goes. I would not feel comfortable wearing this in public. Um, if you do, then go for it, girl. But I definitely will be taking this to a seamstress and getting a seam or like just something small put in to make it so that this goes a little bit lower and covers me a little bit more uh, because I think the slit is really cute, but I'm not comfortable with how high it is. So I will be getting that fixed. Um, now this dress is pretty tight. Uh, I don't have a lot of room to move in it and I'm a little bit nervous because it fits me like kind of perfectly at 19 weeks. So I'm a little bit nervous when I'm 30 weeks or 25 weeks when I'm actually starting to be able to wear this. I'm a little nervous that I probably won't be able to wear it. Um, but the nice thing is that I probably will be able to wear it when I'm not pregnant. It does have a little bunch right here um, to give you some room for your belly. But if you're not pregnant, this dress would probably work just fine on you as long as you don't mind the cute little cinch butt. Butt? Butt? <laughs> the little cinchy bunchy stuff. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, and then this one is the same as the last one with the buttons. It's not real buttons. You can't actually unbutton this, um, but it's just buttons that are stuck onto the front so you can't actually unbutton this down and open it, which is fine with me. Um, the fabric on this one is thick, which is really nice, but of course, since it's white, it is see-through again. So as you can see, my shorts start here and end here. Of course, I wouldn't wear these shorts with it, but this just goes to show how see-through the dress really is. Um, I do think this dress is super adorable, and I'll show you guys the top here. So the top has a spaghetti strap, little um, top, and I do like how it comes down on my neck. I think it's re really flattering as well. Um, so I really like the top of it. I really like a lot of things about the dress, but I don't absolutely love it. If it was just like a little bit more like that and maybe a little bit stretchier and not see-through, then it would be perfect. So a few requirements, but we could get there. <laughs> this next dress is called the Maternity Scoop Neck Long Sleeve Midi Dress. This one is in a size eight as well, obviously in the color black, and this one was $9.60. Now this one is another dress that I wish that I would have ordered in a size six and not an eight because it is a little bit baggy in the legs. Um, once again, it just gaps down low and I want it to be a little bit tighter on the legs, more like a bodycon and it's just kind of really loose at the bottom. Um, as you can see, the sleeves are a long sleeve. They also are a little bit 
long or a little bit um, baggy, like loose, not long. Um, but I would wear them up high anyways, so I guess it wouldn't really matter too much because I would want to scrunch them up and not leave them low. This one I think is super cute on. I think it's a very flattering, just nice, plain black dress. It of course has the cinch here for the bump, which will grow and be super cute in this dress if I get any bigger because this dress is a little bit big on me. Um, it is a little bit see-through, not nearly as bad as some of the other ones, but it still has that little bit of see-through to it. Um, the top of this one is super nice. I like how it covers up top. I feel like it is very modest and it just covers everything going on up top and it's not too low or too crazy or anything. Um, so I do like the top of this one. I think that the length is super cute. I think this one is super adorable for just like a plain everyday maternity dress. This one is super soft as well. I feel like almost like I'm wearing pajamas. It's that soft. Like I could almost wear this as like a nightgown, wear it to bed because it's so comfy, which when you're pregnant, all you want is to be comfortable. So I 10 out of 10 recommend getting comfy clothes and comfy dresses for sure. But yeah, overall, I think this one is super cute. I think, oh my gosh, with the bump, it's just so adorable. And it's such a nice, just plain black dress. And I probably will wear this one super often. Okay, so next up we have the Maternity Scallop Edge Culotte, Culotte, C-U-L-O-T-T-E, whatever that word is. And these are in a size eight in the color mustard and these were $8. So I was extremely excited for these pants. I thought, oh my gosh, how cute, a fun pop of yellow and they're gonna be comfortable and so cute with a big bump. As you can see, they are too big on me right now. Um, as I walk, they literally will fall off of me. Now I'm hoping that by the time I'm like 30 weeks and it's warm out, that these will be a lot cuter on me. They do have a nice fabric and I do love the little scalloped bottom. I think how cute is that little scalloped detail down there, but I do wish that I probably would have ordered a size six in these. I feel like even if I am 30 weeks, a size six probably would have fit me a little bit better. Now I know the striped shirt is a little bit extra with this. It's a little like, holy moly girl, you have a lot going on there. But I didn't want to run upstairs and grab a different shirt. I probably would wear like a black tank top, like a plain black tank with this. I feel like that would be a lot cuter. Um, as you can see, these are see-through as well. You can see the stripes on my belly through the yellow pants. But it probably wouldn't be an issue if you're just wearing a black tank top or a white tank top. You probably wouldn't even see underneath what, what was going on you know. But yeah, I do think these are super cute. I do still really like them. I just feel like I might have to get them taken in a little bit to fit me better, but I will have to try them again at like 25 weeks, 30 weeks to see if they fit me a little bit better because I don't want to totally give up on them because I, in my mind, like I had envisioned, I had envisioned that they would be so cute in the summertime. So I just want to keep trying, but they are a little bit large as you can see the leg is a little bit large on me now I know it's not supposed to be tight I know it's supposed to be loose fitting but these babies literally like will fall <laughs> fall off your girl and not good situation happens okay so we have finally reached the last item that I purchased and that would be the maternity rip skinny over the bump jeans in black these are a size 6 and these were $20 now these jeans I of course was excited for because they are just a distressed black jean which is what I wear literally every day of my life. So my husband hates how much I say literally, like literally every single day because he's like, do you literally wear them every day? But anyways, that was so random. But anyways, I do wear black jeans all the time. So I thought how awesome would it be to have some maternity jeans that fit me because girl, let me tell you, my jeans do not fit me anymore. But I was disappointed with these. Um, I don't know if you can see, but at the bottom of these, they're not super skinny. I'm someone who likes my skinny jean to be skinny and not like a straight cut. And so with these, I would cuff them up, roll them up a little bit because it makes them a little bit tighter. But I do wish that they were more of a skinny jean at the bottom because I like to roll them, but still have them long and not like a cropped jean look. The fabric of them is super nice. They are a pretty thick jean. I will give them that. Um, they're not thin. I don't feel like they're gonna tear easily. And I do like where the distress 
is on the jeans. I like that it's not too much distress, but I feel like it's like just enough to still look good. Now, I would say the biggest issue with these is as you can see, they do go all the way up over the bump, but the weird thing is that they go up over the bump, but then they dip down low in the back. And I know that some maternity jeans do this, but I wish I would have looked and like read more detail about these before I bought them because I definitely thought they went all the way around up like high and these things don't stay on whatsoever because of how this is designed i literally can take two steps and they will completely fall off of me now the fact that i am only 19 weeks pregnant and that i am not super big right now in my tummy would also play a part in that i think that maybe once i have a larger stomach and they're more stretched out i do think that they would stay on me better but right now if i were to wear these i definitely would need them to be in a size six or maybe even a size four um so i'm kind of sad that i ordered a size eight because they definitely don't fit me as well as i was hoping for i also don't love the silver little um i don't know what these are called they're not called buttons but you know what i mean like is it called a is it called a sprocket? Is that a word? A sprocket? <laughs> Anyways, whatever these little silver things are, I don't love them. I don't think that they are super cute. I think they kind of make the jeans look a little bit cheesy, um, especially because they are on all the pockets all the way around, but it's not a huge deal. Um, I do think the jeans are a nice jean for $20, but I definitely will be purchasing other maternity jeans, and I know that some maternity jeans can be really expensive, but I would rather buy like a $60 pair of maternity jeans that fit really well and that are super comfortable and that stay on me all day when I'm moving around and stuff than wear these for $20 and be uncomfortable all the time. And as you can see, the top of these are ribbed as well. They have that ribbed detail and then the weird thing is I felt like I thought this whole thing would be like elasticy, but the only elastic part is this little band at the top. This is the only elastic part that goes all the way around. The rest of this is all just like tank top material and it's not tight at all. So I feel like if this was all stretchy and more spandexy, then spandexy, I don't think that's a word, but you know what I'm saying. I feel like they would stay on a lot better than they do with just this weird t-shirt material thing. Um, yeah, I just feel like they're super like baggy and gappy, like in this area, like they're just not comfortable and the back is so uncomfortable how they hit right here and then come up high. The whole thing is just not comfortable and sadly I probably won't be getting much use out of these because I just don't feel comfortable in them. Okay guys, so that is all I have for you for this Boohoo Maternity Try-On Haul. I did want to let you guys know, so all in all, I spent $101.59 on everything that I got. Um, so for the clothes that I received, I would probably rate it like a 6.5 out of 10, just because I didn't love everything. I did love some things, but I wouldn't say that anything was like an absolute 10 out of 10 for me. Like I wouldn't 100% wear these things like, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. I want to wear it every single day. Now, would I shop from Boohoo again? Yes, I probably will buy things from Boohoo again in the future. I just will definitely be more cautious with the things that I buy, meaning I will read the reviews on the clothing products because I didn't read any reviews, which I probably should have done, but didn't even think of it, but I probably should have read reviews and in the future I would read the reviews of the clothing items before I purchased them. That way I know what size to get based on what other people have said. I also probably would have stuck with a size six all across the board because I feel like the size eights were mostly all too big for me. And so I feel like if I would have stuck with a size six all across the board that things would have probably fit me a lot better. But yeah, I hope that I covered all of the information that I needed to in this haul. Like I said, this is the first ever clothing haul slash try on haul that I've ever done on my channel. So I hope that I did it okay. If you guys do have any more questions regarding any of the clothing items that I purchased, regarding any of the sizing or anything to do with this video, don't forget to comment down below. You can absolutely comment that below. Let me know. You can message me on Instagram, over on Instagram. My name is at McKenna, is it McKenna Malone Mole? It might be, yeah, no it is. It used to be Kenna Malone Mole, but I changed it to McKenna Malone Mole. That's a whole lot of confusing. Anyways, you can message me over on Instagram as well with any questions that you guys do have regarding this video. 
Other than that, I do love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that bell notification. And I will see you guys next Wednesday with a new video. Bye, guys. Ew. <laughs> Cat hair just flew into the air.